Hi guys. Oh, anyway. Um, yes, I said I was going to come on here and talk about skincare. I know I'm doing like all of these videos back to back because I've been moving, whatever. We're here now. Sorry. Um, yeah, and um, I was saying in a previous video, you know, my skin is not perfect. And I don't think it will ever be perfect. I'm not one of those girls. I do see on YouTube like different people talking about their skincare regimen because they have perfect skin. Because they have beautiful skin. Buttery, smooth, awesome skin that I don't have. But um, what I do is just do the best that I can to minimize breakouts. So I'm just like going to be real and share what I do. Um, I don't think I did like a hair of the day. Um, this is a blowout. Yeah, my hair is like, it's like a day old blowout. All I did was just put bobby pins on the side. If you can see that. That's it. And then everything else is just out. It's soft and it's movable. It was a little longer yesterday. It's like shrunk up since then. But I just braided it in cornrows at night and then take it out in the morning. Um, but yeah, so, um, yeah, I'll just share my experience. I have combination skin around here. It's freaking like dry. I always get dry spots around here and everywhere else. Like my nose is always oily. When I wake up in the morning, it's like shining. My brother, when we used to sleep together, when we were little, he used to be like, Charla, I can see my face in your nose like a mirror. Thanks. Hey. Yeah. So I've always had oily skin. I used to have really bad breakouts on my forehead. Oh my gosh. But that's changed since I've gotten older. But I constantly get breakouts right in this area. And and since I've gotten older, I've gotten getting breakouts on my neck. And I've also since college, I've gotten breakouts. Um, I ran track in college. I don't know if that has anything to do with. I'm get. It doesn't. I was, you know, a track athlete in college, but, um, breakouts on my back and my shoulder, like, since college. Like, I don't know what's going on, but that's just been my life since then. Like, I'm 27 now, you know, that's a long time ago. Like, it's still here, so I just, you know, do what I can to, um, minimize the breakouts that I, that I have. Um. Right now, I'm on this Lush kick. I love Lush. I have bought Lush products since for a few years now, and that seems to work really well with my skin. I try to go away from Lush and buy other things. It doesn't really work the same. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to share, like, two products that I use, and then I'll come over here and do some more reviews of Lush products. But, um, yeah, that's what I do like I'm drinking more water I know that that has a lot to do with the skin and it does like the more water I drink I can tell in my face my face looks better although I still have the scarring and I still get breakouts you see one right there but um water does really good um, for my skin so give this this is like container is like really old um what oh my gosh i don't even dark angels is what this is called this is dark angels and it's a face scrub from from lush i don't have the price on here lush you know they can be a little pricey a little bit you know but you're paying for good products good healthy natural products lush is freaking awesome um, Dark Angels is what I swear by. Like every couple of days, I um, scrub my face with this. And although some people may think, oh, cause, because you have ac acne, you don't, your, your skin is not considered sensitive. I'm the opposite. Acne is a condition of the skin, and that makes it sensitive. You can put, like, I'm, I might get some bumps on my face from having, you know, the oil on my face from my bangs. You know, just the smallest thing can make me break out. And that I consider sensitive skin. Not rough skin, not bad skin, just sensitive. Um, people say chocolate really doesn't do anything to you. I, From my personal experience, I, I did some experimenting. I love chocolate. 
chocolate more than anything. And I did not eat chocolate for a while, and I had minimal breakouts. I popped some chocolate in my mouth, pimples all over my face, bumps all over my face. So, I mean, that's just my experience. You know, you can do your own experiments if you want. Learn what works for you and what doesn't. But this Dark Angels is freaking awesome. I'm going to show you the texture, and I'm just going to do a little bit because stuff costs money, okay? That is what it looks like the inside and what you do I get a little bit you see that this is just a little bit you get this and like a little bit of water okay I'm just gonna put a little bit of water on my hand see and you get it and it just rubs on like that and it turns into this little scrub um, that goes on your face little scrub and you do it all over your face scrubbing on your neck I do my back too because I have back acne and after you're finished with your shower you know rinse it off wash it off um yeah and it works really good for exfoliating my face lightly because my face is sensitive and um, I don't want to keep scrubbing scrubbing causing like any irritation but um yeah, this stuff is the truth. Dark Angels from Lush. Um, wonders, Lush, Wonders. Now, I do have a soap that I do use every day um, that I'll come back on here probably tomorrow and show. Um, but yeah, other than that, I will show you what I use to moisturize um, my face. Clean and Clear Dual Action. It uh, moisturizes my skin and supposedly helps prevent pimples, treats, and prevent pimples. I don't know. What I do know, it's oil-free. It's oil-free and it moisturizes my face. I can put as much or as little as I want on my face and it's fine. It, it, it does really good as far as moisturizing my face. So this Clean and Clear Dual Action Moisturizer is what I use. Um, yeah, it's really good. That's what I use before I draw my ink. Like, after I finish washing my face and before I put on my makeup. Not really a lot of makeup because, you know, I'm not really big on makeup, but like drawing on my eyes and stuff. My eyebrows. That's what I use. Um, yeah, I don't put that on. I don't really moisturize my face at night because, again, I wake up naturally oily anyway. So um, that, that's more when I'm going out in the day um, just to help protect my face and to moisturize it. Okay, um, I'm going to do a quick outfit of the day. It's nothing special. I just normally do it so I'm gonna do it I still have this crap on my finger in my hands for you guys okay all right these are like my favorite jeans they have rips all in them and no I didn't do it myself it's because I'm thick over the years I'm thick enough where it created own little cut. See that one in here? Yeah, so like I didn't cut any of this. This just happened naturally and I love it and I wear them like all the time. But um yeah and then this is a little black shirt I forget where I got it from. It's cute, it's loose, you know, it's hot here so I put on a black bra, you know, black and white actually it's cute. It's a really cute bra but I'm not gonna show that. <laughs> Yeah, so, and I have on these brown earrings because my shoes are brown. They're wedges. I'll try to show them. I don't know if you can see them. Yeah, but they're wedges, and this is my outfit for today. Um, I'll pick up my shoes so you can see. These are my favorite shoes. I love them. My older brother actually got them for me one day, and yeah, I love these shoes. They're so awesome. Alright, so I will talk to you guys later. And um, I'm sorry for, for the long time that I have not been on YouTube. But um, if you guys have any questions or anything, you know, let me know. And I'll be sure to do my best to answer all your questions. And um, yeah, my wedding's coming up in nine weeks. I'll try to keep you posted with any new developments. And um, 
yeah i hope this was informational bye remember all this crap works for me not saying it'll work for you could could not works for me <laughs>